Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the tech winners at the Oscars. Now, let's get into it. The Princess of Wales has released a statement after the controversy over an official image of her and her children that was released on Mother's Day. The image was withdrawn by international picture agencies because of concerns that it had been manipulated. The statement from the princess said, Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. Concerns over the image were raised after signs of editing to the left sleeve of Princess Charlotte's cardigan were noticed, as well as other areas of the picture. The confusion has further fueled conspiracy theories about Kate, which have swirled online since her surgery. The 2024 Oscars took place last night. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer was the big winner, scooping seven awards including Best Picture, Best Actor for Killian Murphy and Best Film Editing. In terms of the big tech awards, War Is Over, inspired by the music of John and Yoko, won Best Animated Short, while Japanese films The Boy and the Heron won Best Animated Feature and Godzilla Minus One won Best Visual Effects. Now. Scientists are looking for evidence of alien technology in a faraway solar system with the most perfect mathematical alignment and synchrony of planets ever seen. The solar system, which is about 100 light years away from ours, has six planets orbiting the orange dwarf star called HD 110067. Scientists using the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia in the US looked for radio signals from these planets as evidence for past or present alien technology, aka technosignatures. Although researchers didn't find any in the current study, they say this unusual solar system remains an interesting target for further research, as some of these worlds are likely to have liquid water. Italians are reportedly being forced to cut back on olive oil, a Mediterranean cooking staple, as costs reach a record high. According to a survey by the Pipoli Independent Research Institute, a third of Italians have reduced their consumption of extra virgin olive oil due to skyrocketing prices. Consumers reported cutting back consumption by at least 30% to as much as half as average supermarket prices have risen from €4 Euros to €9 Euros a bottle. Nearly half of those questions said they were substituting olive oil with cheaper seed oil. However, Italian producers are pushing back against the claim, saying the snapshot of consumer sentiment does not give the full picture, and that sales of higher quality Italian extra virgin olive oil are actually up. The Guardian is reporting that staff at the UK's National Institute for Artificial Intelligence and Data Science have expressed serious concerns after the organisation appointed four men to senior roles. A letter addressed to the leadership of the Alan Turing Institute said the appointment showed a continuing trend of limited diversity within the Institute's senior scientific leadership. The letter, which The Guardian says it's seen, has reportedly been signed by more than 180 people and questions whether ATI is following through on its commitment to inclusive hiring. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, scientists make gold out of e-waste and Sea of Thieves tops the gaming charts. To stay up to date with the latest tech and science news, just hit follow during the break. Welcome back. No leads. Gov, what's the verdict? I've got nothing. Nada. Not a trace. High blood pressure usually has no symptoms, but left undetected could lead to a fatal heart attack or stroke. The NHS is warning that millions of people are at risk from the silent killer of high blood pressure as they launch a new campaign urging people to get checked. If left untreated, high blood pressure can lead to heart attacks, strokes, kidney disease and vascular dementia. Up to 4.2 million people in England are thought to be living with high blood pressure without knowing it. Around a third of all those with the condition. Scientists have found a way to make gold from electronic waste. Researchers use protein sponges, byproducts from the cheesemaking process, to recover the precious metal from e-waste, a method they claim is sustainable and commercially viable. In the study, E.T. Zurich scientists recovered a 450 milligram nugget of 22 karat gold from just 20 old computer motherboards. The findings suggest the procurement costs for source materials and the energy costs for the entire process are 50 times lower than the value of the gold that can be recovered. And finally... Sea of Thieves is setting sail for PlayStation 5. Sea of Thieves is the number one most pre-ordered game on PlayStation beating the likes of Stellar Blade and Dragon's Dogma 2. 
PlayStation gamers around the world are preparing to welcome the pirate-themed title to the platform that was previously exclusive to Xbox and PC for six years. Sea of Thieves is one of the first Xbox exclusive games making its way to PlayStation, joining the likes of Hi-Fi Rush, Pentiment and Grounded. It's already been confirmed that Sea of Thieves will be cross-platform, which means gamers will be able to link up with friends playing on all different consoles. Sea of Thieves will be released on PlayStation on the 30th of April. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Standard Podcast for all the latest news and analysis. Tech and Science Daily will be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.